Hello, this is Vance, and this is Monday, October the 20th, 2014. These are the CL trades for today using the slow hand method for price action. Uh, before we start with the chart, the update, I wanted to tell you about this event that's happening. Thursday, October 23rd, that's this Thursday at 1 p.m., I have an interview with Mac from PriceActionTradingSystems.com. And if you think, you look, if you're a follower of Mac, you know they trades the ES exclusively. You have got quite a following, and so I have the privilege of having him uh, speaking to him uh, live on GoToWebinar. Uh, the uh, you could, if you want to participate, you can ask questions. We'll see how time permits. He's a busy person, so I mean we try to we keep trying to keep it for just an hour. But uh, if you send an email to JKSV at Shaw.ca, I'll send you a link. And uh, you can, it's, we're restricted to 100 participants. So the faster you get it in, the faster, you know, you can kind of guarantee your spot. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll do this. But uh, I had an opportunity of, of interviewing Mac in the past, and it's been, it did very well. You get some insights about trading, how he came about trading and so forth. I think you find it very interesting. And so we're, that's what, we're gonna, what I'm going to do on this Thursday. So, so again, I'll be asking some questions. It'll be a live session. If you have any questions that you want to ask them, you can type them in. I'm not saying that we'll get through all the questions, depending on how many people participate, but uh, we'll keep it moving. And so that's just uh, uh, this Thursday, October 23rd, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, let's get on for the trades. Well, I was in here this morning. I was talking about this area right here. And when price came back down, this is just before nine o'clock. I prices. This is where I was talking about it. I was thinking of a retest and maybe going higher. I thought the price was oversold uh, at this level. I chatted a little bit about that. This is yesterday or Friday's uh, overnight eighty-one seventy-four. Uh, but as you can see, price kind of migrated down to the eighty seventy seventy-eight level. Well, let's talk about that. I traded the new contract. Uh, that might have an effect on it as well because I'm trading December contract. That's uh, there's no hardly any volume left on the November contract, so we switched over to the December contract. So that might have an effect as well. Might have a little bit more softness on that contract depending on on what perception is going forward. Uh, anyway, um, it turned out that it was almost going to be a range. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a range. You can see there's pretty tight trading range in the overnight on this particular contract. Uh, we had price trading down to uh, really kind of around the uh, 81.75 level or the previous day's low. Uh, we had a bit of a bounce. And so what I was doing is that uh, uh, when price got to this level up here, when it got near the overnight high, it uh, really rejected. So we have the uh, one touch, second touch. So it was really it almost it came up here. Uh, three times, triple top, I guess you call it. First, you know, up there. It was almost a double top here. First up, fail, up second up here, up here again. So almost like a quadruple top, I would think. So right here, there was rejection. Now, I didn't get in on this trade. This was one that I was looking at right here. Uh, that was in, right near the open at 9 o'clock. And had you taken this trade here, because the second, it was, this is the second entry long right down here, th this area. Now, I wasn't on this one. Right down here, second entry long, because there wasn't really a break of this trend channel. So first entry failed, second entry, but then it came back again. So maybe on this one you would consider going long down here, and so that was something to be consideration. I wouldn't. That's not necessarily a bad trade. I wasn't here, so I didn't. Uh, so I didn't trade that. Price moved up, pulled back twice, and then just another opportunity to get in at this area. Uh, but this was really close to the open. Whether or not you took this particular trade, try to work its way up. It would have worked out. But when it got to the double tops or the, the quadruple tops up here, it really failed and came down. Now, is there a trade here? Well, you can see that. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. You can see that uh, price came up and it failed almost immediately. So it wasn't really a single single failure. It's a second entry short from off this one, first entry, second entry, but you can't really count that. So it's really more like this. First entry pulls back, second entry. Now, yes, this is a little bit lower than this. Well, maybe this is, you can consider that. But I mean, the point is, is that we had two moves up, and then this is kind of the failure. Now, I didn't mark it. Price fell off to this area, tight trading range, tried to pull back, and by this time, I marked this off the bottom. See the, the bottom here? I've got these kind of these swings down here uh, through this area. Might have been a little bit steeper, but that's what I was looking at, somewhere in this neighborhood like that. Double it, move it up to this area, and that's well, off these first closes off these swings right up here. And if you bring this one down, replicate it, 
pull it back up. Yeah, it's a little steeper, but that's all right. I mean, as long as it keeps you on the, the right side, it might be a little bit more like this. But uh, as you can see, price moved up here. It failed. It moved up again. It dropped in this tight trading range. I mean, this is a second entry long right here, uh, right here off this bottom wall. This is a second entry long as well. Pull back another long right here. Is there enough room to get out to this area? You can see there was resistance right across these bottoms. Price went up here. So you can see first up, move up, pulls back, second move out. And then really this is a place to go short. So I don't think this is, a, this is not necessarily a bad trade. There's room to get out to the bottoms here, you know, right to here, the double bottoms. So I thought that was a decent trade. Uh, price pulls back here, first pullback, second pullback. Doesn't quite make it to the EMA. But there's support, formally support. It's acting as resistance. Price can't get up here and another fall. Now, you don't know this is going to happen. You don't really know it's going to go run this far. But certainly, uh, you know, you're, you, the pullback is very close to that. And if you limit in you get your stop above here, then it, this should be, it would be all right. You can see that. Um, it kind of closes the bottom. That's why I marked it in green. But it really fell away. Uh, another pullback here. So your first pullback fails. Second pullback to this area. And even this one right here. First attempt to go higher fails. Second attempt. And you get short here. I mean, I didn't really mark it because it really wasn't a break of this channel. But then it, you, we had the break. Uh, it didn't come up to the new high, but then another really strong bar. And maybe this is a bit more confirmation if you require that. There's room to get out. There's barely room to get out from that one. So you can see there's room to get out. Uh, pulls back and fails. Now, I marked this one as well. Problem with this trade is that you're really the top. There's the double bottoms right here, this one and right here. Now, do you have enough room to get out? Well, the only way you get enough room is you limit in. And it would have worked out, but that's a much more risky trade. So you do see the pullbacks. Price is tempted to go up for a fail. Tempted to go up again and it failed. So if you're going to re if you're going to have a stop, I think you have to kind of limit in near these tops like this. But that's why I marked it in green. But when price got to this bottom, it got to the bottom, pulled back first time, failed second time. This is the second entry long right off here. You can see that first move down, second move down, or even off this one, first move down, second pull back to this area, springs out of here. Up, back. Now, I didn't really mark this. It hadn't break, broken this channel yet, so I wasn't really overly keen on looking at for this turnaround. But in, in hindsight, if you look at it from the perspective of, let me just kind of mark this up here. Right through here, you can see where the most touches are. It's really kind of like support or resistance here. So there is room to get out, but the bias is still down. And so... Until we have a break of this channel, I wasn't keen on Now, it does break here. It pulls back. So it's like a breakout pullback long. But, you know, most breakouts do fail. This one didn't. You see, it took a while to work its way out. And when it finally worked its way out to, let's talk, this area here, we have the first pullback, second pullback. This is a trap. And this one was really, it just shot right up here after that. So now you think, I was talking about this here, retesting this high. When price gets down to this level, by the time this one completes, you're probably looking at maybe retesting this high again. And you can see that most of the time the prices it fell into this tight trading range, but it was trying to migrate toward what the overnight high was. It didn't quite get there because it's just spiking a channel for the rest of the day. So this is right after 1230. A couple of areas to go in long here. Uh, short, this is a short trade here too. It's not a bad setup, but the problem that I have with that is a pretty strong bar. You don't really have a lot of room to get to the bottom. Again, uh, right to here. I'm not sure whether or not we're going to have this turnaround or this is going to act as support. And so um, I wasn't really overly sure that this was a measured move at this point. Uh, which it, it did turn out to be one, but I wasn't really too sure about that. You never know. Maybe this is just the bottom of this top of this range here, but then it failed again, and here is the opportunity to get in. Now, there's a bit of overlap. You're basing it onto the lows of underneath here, under this area right under here. You have to limit in from that, and you can see that when price moved up here, it moved up pretty significantly. You've had a fairly strong... Price comes back, tries to test this area a couple of times. Now... Yeah, you can you can say that if you have your 15 stop box down here and you sell out from under here, then you would have been okay. You would be able to clear off uh, to these tops up here. But this is where the tops are. But the, probably the trend is more like this, maybe uh, in this direction. So that might have uh, thrown some of you, if that's it. But, I mean, by trading this late in the day, anyways, that's kind of the other challenge. It could be like this. Uh, 
but you see that there's kind of support here. Uh, anyway, so so those are the trades that I saw. Um, you know, like even down here, you could have taken that trade. Uh, it was an awfully strong move, and the only reason I would take this trade is because it was almost like an exhaustion of a measured move here. Here's the move down here, pulled back. It was pretty close to here, so that wouldn't be the the first. That would be my first thought. But once it didn't break through here, I mean, you'd be looking at pulling it back as it pulled back down this area. Same with out across here. Once the price makes it this area, you can see breaks out of here, the top pulls back. So this is your first breakout. It fails. Attempts to go high. I mean, attempts to go. This is a attempts to go lower the first time fails. Attempts to go the second time lower. And you almost think that we're going to be heading in this direction. A pretty strong bar, which springs right out of there. And as soon as it hits these safety stops, it went to off. And so from this perspective, you look at another measure move. First pullback, second pullback. I think you're going to be to this area, and there was hesitation, but then it moved up a little bit higher and so forth. So, I hope that uh, makes sense to you. Uh, That's what I saw. As a result, I wasn't looking at, uh, uh, you know, I was, I was. This section here was pretty good. Uh, this por- portion here is a little bit not confusing. I was, as you recall, I, I talked about maybe having more of an upward bias, but when price came out here and rejected right here, then you say we're long. We're going to be lo- short until further notice, and the turnaround came down at the bottom of this channel here. So, and that's it. So again, if you have any questions, let me know. Again, there's uh, uh, the presentation. Let me just show it one more time. You know, Mac interview this Thursday, October the 23rd, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can email me at jksfree at shaw.ca. It's limited attendance. There's not that many people. I mean, there's two two lines for go to webinar. I got 100 users, 300 and 500. 300 users is pretty expensive. It costs 400 bucks a month. We're going to spend it on that. Just for I don't have that many, uh, that that enough for live event. But I will re- be recording it, so you'll get an opportunity to see it recorded. And uh, uh, but uh, as I said, tentatively, well, the date is set, the webinar is set, the information has gone out already. So it's going to be, unless of un- major unforeseen cir- circumstances, it's going to be a go this Thursday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, that's it for now. If you have any other questions, please let me know. This is Vance. Bye for now.